your girl Shalana back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to address the new, the permanent summer EBT program. Guys, you're going to get $120 forever, ever, forever, ever. You guys know this was authorized by Congress to address summer hunger among children beginning in the summer of 2024. Now, guys, there's a lot of caveats to this in order to qualify your state governor is going to have to make this a priority because now the states are required to provide 50% of the administrative costs of administering summer EBT. And you know, most states are broke. So we're going to see how this plays out. But if you want to know what do you have to do, what the new changes are for summer EBT, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, Hi, hello, hey friends. My name is Shalay and here on this channel we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you. Now guys, if I sound a little nasally or maybe a little lispy, you guys know that I have my Invisalign in and my dentist has been getting on me or orthodontist, whoever. They've been getting on me like, girl, you need to keep that thing in at least 22 out the 24 hours. So, hey, you got to get it. All right. Now, if you are new to my channel and you're an EBT recipient or maybe not, you can try out Amazon Prime free for 30 days. We're in the holiday season, baby. Okay, you need this Amazon Prime to go ahead and get delivered to your house within 48 hours. Try it out on me. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about it because beginning in summer of 2024, families will still receive that same $40 per eligible child per month. Now, this is the summer EBT benefits that is limited to students who receive free or reduced lunch meals from the National School Lunch Program, either by application or maybe you were even approved through the Community Eligibility Provision 1, 2, or 3. So a lot of us already are familiar with Summer EBT. It's available to all states. We've been getting this now for about three or four years, um, including like American Samoa, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, as well as the Commonwealth of Mariana Island. So this is not anything new. Now, in previous years though, right, the funds were provided by the government. They sponsored everything. But now the feds are like, no, we need your states to go ahead and put in some money to this. So this is what is new. Now, also what is new is they're saying you're going to receive a new card this year as well, or next year, excuse me, in 2024, because since this is a new program, now you have to get a new card. Go ahead and tell you right now, you might as well go ahead and keep your old card because if your state is managing it, then they already know that you've received cards before. And so I wouldn't just be so quick to get rid of your card, okay? Now, states also will not use what is known as the account management agent or AMA. This approach is different from the process used for pandemic EBT because now this is going to allow states to move a little bit more quickly with summer EBT and everything will be done through your state, including like the issuance, the redemption process. So none of that is coming from like the USDA that we've seen in previous years. It's coming directly from your state. Now, because it's permanent, states have the opportunities where they can plan this, they can prepare it, they can do whatever they want to do. And so the way that it's done in Michigan may not be the same way that it's done in Mississippi. It's up to the state to operate fully on how they want to issue their benefits. So what needs to happen, right? Let me go ahead and break it down to you how this new process is going to work and what you can expect from the timeline as well as what your state needs to do. So first, each state that is going to participate in the summer EBT program, they have to notify food and nutrition services of their intent to participate by January 1st of 2024. So at this point, they're like, look, you know what, Michigan, we're going to go ahead and opt into it. And that way the USDA knows to make these funds available to them. Then on February 15th and every year after that, on February 15th, states will have to submit the approval for their management, their administrative plan for summer EBT every year. So every single year, your state will have to opt in if they want to have summer EBT that year. Because remember, 
they got to pay that 50%. It's not automatic anymore. So we know how states were operating this year. It was a little bit hit and miss, right? But I'm letting you know now, states need to do this if you guys want that $120. Now, in addition to the summer EBT, the USDA summer nutrition program also includes like the meal services at central locations. So you know how every year they give out food at schools, at camps, at community centers. They still are going to do that as well as you'll still have the option for like the grab and go meals or even the home delivery meals that they have in rural areas as well. So summer EBT is an additional benefit, guys. It is not replacing any other summer meal program that has been going on in previous years. So families are still encouraged to participate in all summer nutrition programs that is available to them because you can use this as supplement. Now, the USDA has already started receiving official notices from states that they intend to operate the new permanent summer nutrition program. And we're going to go over that. But if I don't mention your state, remember the states have until January 1st of 2024 to say, hey, we are going to apply. So Chickasaw Nation, Colorado, Illinois, Kansas, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Montana, New Jersey, Ohio, Virginia, West Virginia. Right now, all of these states are the first among to confirm they will be participating in the summer EBT as of 2024. The only state right now that I know that has declined this is South Dakota. And they declined it because they said right now, really only 30% of South Dakota children receive or qualify for free or reduced lunch programs as well. But there are representatives in the state that they're trying to change that because they're like, look, there's families out here, they're working, they're low income, um, there even are people that are poor. And so she said, these parents of the families who do receive the free or reduced lunch, do we want to be branded as like the only state that decided not to help feed children throughout the summer? So I don't know at some point if South Dakota is going to change their mind. I don't know if other states are going to opt into it, i.e. Texas, New York. I don't know, guys. So we're going to have to see how this will work. So what do you need to do, right? What do you need to do as the parent? As of right now, keep your eye out on any correspondence that comes from DHS as well as things that comes from your children's school because in reality, right, for those that receive TANF or SNAP funds, if your child qualifies for free or reduced lunch, you shouldn't have to do anything. They should already have your information on file. It'll, it'll be the families that qualify that are not on TANF or SNAP that should have to apply. But we don't know because this is a completely new process that is going on. Also, I would say keep watching the news to see if your state is going to opt into it. That 50% price tag may be a lot for states and they decide, hey, you know what? We don't want to go ahead and pay that or maybe we'll opt into it in 2024, but not in 2027. Remember, every single year by February 15th, the state has to decide if they want to opt into it. It is not automatic anymore. And the moment that they decide that, yes, they will opt into it, they got to pay that 50%. They got to pay 50%. So let me know down below, what do you think, guys? Do you believe that your state will opt into it? Do you like this new way where now the feds are not covering 100% of everything? Let me know all the things down below. Now, this is all that I have when it comes to summer EBT and what you need to do, but there's also some other EBT news that is going on where a fake letter is circling around Roanoke County claiming that residents are eligible for SNAP benefits when they are not. Now, it is believed that this is an attempt to create like some type of hysteria because there's homeless people that are moving in a closed motel near Huntington Hills, which is one of the wealthiest neighborhoods as well. Now, this is going on Virginia. People are receiving this letter that is written on the USDA letterhead and is addressed to the Huntington Hills, the Hunting Hills community, where it's raising a lot of concerns for the neighbors. Now, a lot of people 
were quick to realize that more than likely this letter was fake, right? It was a scam. And it claims that due to Apple Valley Motel property, which like I said, is being turned into like a transient living facility that now the government has established that area as a food desert, which means that they would qualify for benefits. But they realized quickly there's there's a Walmart superstore right across the street. So that was like the first red flag. But then as you go on in the letter, it did have where the residents could um, call like a phone number as well. And once they called that number, it went to Santa's hotline. So that was like another red flag, the ghetto of it all. Like, why would you put Santa's hotline? And if you call guys, like you can hear Santa laughing like, ho, ho, ho. So I don't know exactly what's going on. But these are all like little scammy things that are coming out. We know that we have like the phishing and EBT card scamming that's going on. But now people are receiving letters in the mail saying they qualify for benefits and they don't. They take you to Santa's hotline. Now, the USDA, when it came to the legitimacy of the letter, they did go ahead and issue out a statement. And they said that the USDA is aware of like, fraudulent letters appearing to be issued on the USDA Food and Nutrition Services asking recipients to reach out to an unaffiliated number and an unaffiliated organization. And so they go on to say that this letter also has falsely claims about new allowances for the state of Virginia, as well as the sale of food and convenience services. And they said like, this is not a letter from the USDA nor the food and nutrition services and it shouldn't be immediately discarded and destroyed as well so child i don't know why they got santa involved in this so if you receive the letter or anything that looks fishy just go ahead and throw it away the ghetto of it all all right so next we're going to talk about the farm bill as the extension continues as well as the pro prohibition on ebt processing fees for snap purchases as well so we know that on thursday there was a short-term funding package that President Joe Biden signed into law that continues the prohibition of EBT processing fees on SNAP purchases at certain retailers as well. Now, this has been extended for one year. Now, with this new law, it averts the government shutdown. So remember, the government would have been shutting down on the 17th of November, but now the negotiators have until September 30th of 2024 to pass the farm bill. But the National Grocers Association, they praise the extension of the EBT processing fees as well because they're like, look, if there are any EBT processing fees, if they are allowed, then that's going to have a lot of stores that decide that they don't want to participate in EBT anymore because who wants to pay like four fees when people use any type of EBT transactions? Nobody. So they're like, look, this will likely reduce the number of participating retailers that we have in the program. Now, I know you guys are like, well, who is the National Grocers Association? But when I tell you they have been like on the side of the people, they have been wanting for EBT to be increased. Because remember, after they ended the emergency allotment earlier this year, a lot of grocery stores seen where there was a reduction in people shopping at the store. They weren't making any money. I think in previous videos, I said, well, Walmart has said they had lost almost like a hundred million dollars in a six month period. Kroger's was on there. So a lot of people are like, we need to do something with this farm bill. And remember that was supposed to be what happened in the farm bill that we can make up for removing the emergency snap allotment of $95 and sneak it back in the farm bill. But now we won't know anything until September 30th of 2024. So this is what we have, guys. Let me know what do you think about the fake letters that are going around? What do you think about, of course, like the farm bill now being pushed back to September 30th of 2024? Do you think your state will opt in? As well as we are close to Thanksgiving. We are a few days. I think I'm going to have a few videos that come out, but definitely enjoy your family, guys. If I don't have any other videos that come out uh, this week, I told you that Miles and I are doing plant-based. So we are having uh, furkey, almost like turkey, but I guess it's fake turkey, furkey. We're having furkey, um, you know, some green beans, sweet potatoes. We're doing jackfruit dressing. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's different. 
it is different. It's different, but we're going to try it and we're going to see if you've tried Ferky before, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope this at least gave you the 411 on the summer EBT of 2024. It's permanent now. It's new. It's permanent. $120 per child. We'll see what each state decides to do. And um, we'll just have to go from there as well as grab you some Amazon Prime. Guys, we're in the final countdown. You can call that USDA number and get Santa's hotline. But you're going to get those gifts whether you want to or not for this holiday season. Let Amazon go ahead and send them to your home. And let me know, was it too lispy um, with my Invisalign in? Because if I have to, I'll start taking it out to do the video and put it right back in. But... I have to keep it because I have to get my teeth straight. I, I got to get them straight. And I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.